The Sims 5 is an upcoming life simulation video game that is being developed by Maxis and published by EA. The last entry in the series, The Sims 4, was released back in 2014 and since then fans have questioned if EA will continue on the franchise or instead choose to provide constant support for Sims 4. The development time and release has broken the normal pattern for the series up to this point, but it still looks like we should expect a Sims 5 release sometime in the future. So let's break down everything we know about the title, including multiplayer rumors, fake release leaks, and more. As always, all the sources will be linked in the description below, so make sure to check those out and support those original writers. The thumbnail art comes from Jenna Spurlock's short film Material Girl, which I will also link below. With that out of the way, let's get into everything we know about The Sims 5. Let's start with the rumors that have circulated around the release of the title. The rumor started with the official PlayStation Magazine in May of 2020, which has a section that includes upcoming games for PlayStation devices, and one of the games that was included on the list, to the surprise of many fans, was The Sims 5. The exact release is not given, but because the red circle is highlighted in the top corner next to the game, that means that they expect the release to be further than 12 months out. The listing has the publisher as EA and Maxis as the developer, which we know, and the quote for the title says, A generation-spanning sequel could have online features as EA has mentioned, quote, social interaction and competition. And this tells us a few things. One is that the next entry in The Sims franchise looks like it will be coming to the PlayStation 5 and continue that streak of it will go to PC first and then eventually consoles. And it looks like the game is already on Sony's radar. I do want to say that a lot of community members have said this means the game is coming soon, but I would say the information the magazine has they probably know just as much as we do, they might know a little bit more depending on sources if they know people in EA or Maxis, but for the most part I think they only covered this because there was already news and speculation around the title. And this leads into another release rumor, which comes from Instant Gaming, which is known for posting games early and sometimes they get information sort of correct. They had previously posted a Sims 4 expansion called Tropical Paradise, which instead in the actual release ended up being called Island Living. So they sort of got that right and correct, so some fans tend to trust them with Sims leaks and other information. But I would definitely be skeptical of this one. So Instant Gaming has Sims 5 on their website with Sims 4 artwork and a handmade Sims 5 logo, and they have the release date for the title set to 2021. And clearly this is fake and just a placeholder to get fans excited and sign up for emails. At least they aren't having fans pre-order the title on their website and instead all they're asking for is just sign up for newsletters and things like that. So that's at least less predatory than other companies we've seen in the past. But we know that this artwork and logo are just placeholders and Instant Gaming has had the listing up since February of 2020 without ever adjusting the art or release even after some of this pushback. And it just seems like 2021 is out of the scope for this project at this point, considering EA has said they will continue to support Sims 4 through 2021. It just doesn't seem like it would make much sense. And I would guess that we are still years away from a Sims 5 release for reasons I will touch on later. There's another comment I want to mention which has to do with the first mention of the game, and a comment I see brought up for the project without giving the proper context. Back in 2014, only a few months after the release of Sims 4, a producer on the Sims franchise responded to a fan when he was asked about the studio's plans for Sims 5, and said quote, We're not working on Sims 5, we're not thinking about Sims 5, if Sims 4 isn't successful, there won't be a Sims 5. And this comment isn't too surprising, the team had just released Sims 4 a few months prior and did not want fans already asking about the next entry, especially when it seemed like some fans weren't even willing to give Sims 4 a fair chance and already wanted to talk about the next title. So I see a lot of people reference this, but once again, this comment was made back in 2014, it's now been 6 years since then, and there have been more conversations around Sims 5. If we look at the state of the game, the game has been a massive success for EA. 
In the fiscal 2021 Q1 earnings report for EA, they stated that Sims 4 has had more than 30 million players across all platforms, and the daily, weekly, and monthly active player totals are at record highs for the first quarter. Also, on another recent earnings call, the team even stated that Sims 5 has grown 110% year over year and is driven by new players constantly coming into the world of Sims. And the franchise has grown every year for the last six years since the release of Sims 4, so yes, Sims 4 has been a massive success and one of the few games that continues to have popularity even though it was released many years ago. The benefit is that the game is still growing and is very profitable for EA, so they will continue to support the franchise, which is a big benefit, but that might not always mean sequels and what fans actually want for the franchise, which is a negative. They could continue to support Sims 4 with DLC, and more recently with the launch of The Sims Mobile, which is a mobile game for phones within the past few years that is filled with microtransactions, it could eventually lead to a similar situation that The Simpsons franchise are in. If you don't know, EA owns the rights to all Simpsons games. Once they made The Simpsons Tapped Out, which is a mobile game, it's more profitable than any other game they've ever made in terms of The Simpsons IP, so they have no reason to to develop any new games because it doesn't make sense for them profitably. I'm not saying this will happen with The Sims, that they will stop making games altogether for PC and consoles and just focus on mobile, but we definitely are seeing The Sims 4 have a longer life cycle because of this compared to past games. So yes, they are already extending these life cycles because they don't have to crank out games as fast because of the way that now they can work a lot of microtransactions and a lot of DLC and a lot of things for players to buy. This idea has also been backed up by Sim Guru Graham, who talked with Games Radar two weeks ago at the time of recording, and said, quote, There's such a diverse range of topics and features that we could cover. The possibility space of what we can do within The Sims 4 is just humongous. I think that just goes to show that there's way more that we can still do within this title. And our players are plenty hungry for more content than we can give in. And that's a good problem to have. Which doesn't sound great for fans who are waiting for a big change to the franchise when a lot of these Sims gurus are saying that there's a lot more that they can do with Sims 4, they aren't done with Sims 4, and that players will always be able to purchase more and more of what they create, and this was just taken two weeks ago. We could go on and on on this exact topic of the extending of the Sims 4 life cycle, but for the sake of this video, let's close it there and move on to the Sims 5 news and some of the hints about the game's actual development. The most important news comes from the CEO of EA, Andrew Wilson. On the Q3 fiscal 2020 earnings call, he discussed the Sims 5, and when asked about an online version of the Sims, he said, quote, Typically, what The Sims has done is really focus on fulfilling the motivations of inspiration, escape, creation, self-improvement, and not necessarily focus as much on the social interaction and competition. He continued on saying, As Maxis continues to think about The Sims for a new generation across platforms in a cloud-enabled world, you should imagine that we will always stay true to our inspiration, escape, creation, self-improvement, motivation, that this notion of social interaction and competition, like the kind of things that were actually present in The Sims Online many years ago, will start to become part of the ongoing Sims experience in the years to come. And he closed out by saying, we are very excited. This is a game that really doesn't have any competition in its category for delivering and fulfilling these motivations for players. And we think this is a tremendous growth opportunity for us for many, many years to come. And once again, none of this is too surprising. The team is probably always discussing what should happen in the next entry in the franchise, whether that be additional add-on packs or if it's time to start series development of the next project and considering what aspects and gameplay mechanics to bring in. The current phase of the game sounds like it is in very early pre-production if they are considering what elements to add in the future. This quote has also circulated around the Sims community due to the fact that this quote could be interpreted to mean we could see multiplayer for the Sims in the future, and could include aspects from The Sims Online, which was an MMO released in 2002 and eventually shut down in 2008. 
And the fact they are considering an online or multiplayer component is not too surprising considering even more microtransactions could be added to the game if they had online components. But on the plus side, multiplayer could be a really fun mechanic to have in the Sims franchise. And it reminded a lot of community members of a lot of the multiplayer options for The Sims 2 that was on console where you could have two players playing simultaneously in the same house. Let's move on to some of the development rumors and build off that idea further. One of the first mentions that a new Sims title could be in active development happened in September of 2018 and was built on the fact when EA added two new job listings for Maxis. One was a senior concept artist with a focus on characters and the other was a focus on environments. And the position was for an early in development AAA title at Maxis in Redwood City. It's important to say the studio doesn't only develop the Sims franchise, but they mostly only develop the Sims franchise, so it's highly likely even before we get into some of the details that the job listings are indeed for the next Sims entry. The job posting itself discusses creating characters, skin, clothing, eyes, and hair, all of which sounds a lot like Sims to me and many fans. And it also said they should be willing to help with fashion designs and pose sheets. Another position for a character modeler was released around the same time and also directly says they are looking for someone who wants to work on an exciting new game in the best selling Sims franchise. They also say they want a realistic style to a high level of aesthetic quality. Which this time sounds like we could be getting a very realistic Sims game depending on how realistic style they mean for this modeler. And I think that's- And this has definitely been one of the biggest things that fans have asked for as the series has progressed is when we will get these photorealistic Sims games. The development rumors continued on in 2019 when Sim Guru Lindsay announced that another Sim Guru Duke was moving on from The Sims Mobile to become a senior producer for Sims 4. And he was actually replacing another producer we mentioned earlier in the video, who was Sim Guru Grant. Grant had been known for working on Sims 4 for a long time, and he's very well connected in Maxis and has worked on a lot of big projects, so it was a very interesting move to take him off the Sims 4 and onto a new project. The only hint that Lindsay gave us is that he'd be working on, quote, a number of important and awesome Maxis things. It would make sense that this could be Sims 5 and they are moving one of their most prolific and experienced producers off of The Sims 4 onto this new project considering a lot of Sims 4, the groundwork is there, they can just build off that when Sims 5 is going to need a lot more work and a lot more expertise. Obviously none of this is confirmed but it's really interesting and it lines up with these job listings we've heard about all around the same time that they started with the concepting, then character modeler, and then they're starting to bring in producers who have worked on the Sims franchise for a while. In 2020, EA announced they were looking for playtesters specifically from the Sims community. EA said they were hosting playtesting events, and players would get to play unreleased games before anyone else and give their feedback. And most fans still think it's potentially too early for Sims 5 to be already in a place that they need playtesting, but it really just depends on how their development cycles work and how much work has been done on the project. Some companies do start their playtesting process very early, while others wait till it's further in development. But if it is playtesting for The Sims 5, then the game could be further in development than we thought, and this game could be closer to a release than we thought. Now timeline gets very strange here if they just were getting producers in 2019 and some of the job postings in 2018 for concept art so it would be a quick turnaround but definitely not impossible. All of this gets even more confusing when it looks like Maxis is also working on a brand new IP based on job listings that were noticed by a community member on Reddit. The team said it's working on a big production for an unannounced title and will need to create effects such as smoke, fire, clouds, water, steam, and explosions, and it will be a live service game. Some community speculation says this game might be a revamped entry to the movies game series, which could be done using many of the same assets and ideas as The Sims, but it would just not use The Sims branding if it is a new IP. It's definitely possible though that Maxis could be working on this new IP, which seems like it just started in 2020 or at least sometime shortly after. 
The Sims 5, which we know they have been hiring concept artists since 2018, producers in 2019, and potentially playtesting in 2020, and The Sims 4, which is constantly getting updates. And it's possible all of these are being worked on in varying degrees at this point and throughout the next few years, which is really interesting to see what they have coming. So what should we expect moving forward? One thing I'm looking forward to, and I think that could really help The Sims moving forward, are the platforms the game will be available on. Up to this point, The Sims franchise has been mostly a PC game, but you needed an Origin account and EA was very specific on where you'd be able to purchase the game. But in 2019, EA worked out a deal with Steam, and The Sims 4 became available to purchase there as well, which could have major implications for the future of The Sims franchise if they decide to launch The Sims 5 on Origin and Steam, and I think it could get a lot of casual players on the PC side playing this game if they don't want to make another Origin account, and it'd be really convenient if it launched on Steam. It's also a really interesting franchise because normally they then will launch on consoles either months or a year after the release of PC, so it'd be really cool to see what they could do with this new current generation of consoles. And as for my thoughts, I do think that Sims 5 is in development, either in late pre-production or decent amount in production. If the rumors are to be believed, it's either in its second or third year of development, including those years of pre-production and concept art. With the success though of Sims 4, EA and Maxis are in no rush to launch the next title, but it makes it even more exciting if the franchise is getting a massive visual overhaul and will look more realistic than ever, and it will just be really exciting to see when we get to see this game and as more news comes out. Either way, that's where I'm going to end this video. Make sure to like and share, subscribe for weekly gaming news, and I will see you guys in the next one.